All right, time now for some great food, and we are so excited because Chef Plum is actually in our studio in person. Yes, so and it's been more it's been than amazing. a year, and you brought a friend. I brought an eggplant. Yeah. I love eggplants. I, ironically, his name is Scott. It's fantastic. <laughs> Scott the eggplant. That's it. And I've never heard of eggplant rings yeah. before, but this was your solution to your kids wanting onion rings all the time. Exactly. So my kids love onion rings, and I was trying to figure out, okay, how can I make them better? What could I make, you know, more vegetable oriented? Mm -hmm. yeah. And so I was like, well, what if we did like other vegetables? I'm sure I can make rings out of squash and stuff like that. You can, you can. Okay. Uh, but eggplant seemed to work the best because of the size of it when you cut it. So well, it's sort of like eggplant parmesan. I mean, so exactly. So I, I, got, I got to be honest with you. I was out to dinner the other night and I had squash rings. Did you really? Yeah, I really? swear to God. We are starting yeah. to trend. I've seen those like ones they put out that are trending now, the zucchini blossoms. Oh, dude, zucchini blossoms are amazing. They're yeah. so delicious. Those you just stuff them with great cheese. Yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh, mm. they're one of my favorite things mm. ever. All right, so you're going to show us how to do Let's this. Let's talk about this. So we got an eggplant here. Let's say hi to Scott. We'll take Scott, right? What hi, like to Scott. Do? <laughs> I'll take off this top part here, and I'm going to use this knife just to be safe. You guys no, don't mind. I'm going to take my hair off. <laughs> Look, it's me. It's me with a receding hairline. There you go. <laughs> the hair's longer, remember? <laughs> so you can take your, your peeler here, just peel off the sides of the skin on Look here. Look how easy that is. You know, you don't want to leave this too much of this on because it gets so tough when you chew it. Okay, but you're leaving a little bit. I like a little bit because I think the chew is nice. But, you know, for my kids, I'd probably take it all off. But here, I'll make okay. you happy. Let's take it all off. Okay. There we go. So get that out the way here. Let's get this out, out of here. This is in the way. Let's get that whoa. out of here. Oh, whoa. Here we go. Now, whoa. so what we want to do is, I just don't want stuff in the way. Oh, whoa. So we'll take off one of the ends. And what we'll do is I just like to take this little piece off and I cut them about this thick. I guess it's about how a quarter inch? Yeah. Okay, about a yeah. quarter inch, about a quarter inch thick. So we'll cut it down about a quarter inch thick, right? How are you gonna turn it into a ring? And then what we do is you can you can have fancy ring molds, you can see the coming little kits or fancy cookie cutters. You know what works great? The top of this container. Oh, oh, that works funny. perfect, right? A spice top. And you just okay. pop it in there. Push down, it comes right out. Do you believe this is happening? How about that? Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Let's I'm never gonna look the top of my oregano the same again. Listen, it's all about making work I've used glasses got. before. Those work great you too. You know, when I'm doing like a, what, it, what was that called? A egg and an S. Right, right, right. Oh, those are great too. Yeah. Can I try? Yeah, go for it here. So just take that and pop it right in there. Push down. The only trick is you have to use something to pull it out with, you know. Look at this, Karen. Do you believe it's this? It's a little mold. That's, that's awesome. right, it works great. Careful. So be careful. Awesome. Now, do you do anything with the insides? You can absolutely. So I fry these little pieces up too. From my my youngest daughter loves these. She thinks they're like donut holes. Yeah, that'd be like a chip or right. something. Right. Okay. So let's take these aside here. And now, so I've got a little just all-purpose flour right here. Yeah. I seasoned it up with a little bit of salt. This is just egg and water. Okay. A little egg and water whipped together. Yeah. And we want to make it kind of like a parmesan. So what I do is I have breadcrumbs here. Panko is what I like to use. And I'll throw in some parmesan cheese right in there with it, just like that. And then what we do is we'll make sure we season up a little bit of salt. And you can use fresh herbs, of course, but if you have these, this dry container, because you just use the top of it, All right. just take a pinch of this. Now, the key is when you use these dry herbs, you want to smush them in your fingers, technical term. That releases the oils from them, natural oils. Hmm. So just give a little smush, then we're going to mix this up a little bit. And then this is just standard, what they call standard breading procedure. Do you guys want to do this or no? I brought you some mittens. Okay. You try it. <laughs> you don't have to. I'll do it if you want. Mittens. This is the best thing I could find for gloves. So what we want to do is... You just take these guys, and you want to go flour, egg, and breadcrumbs. So you take one, I'll do one, and you guys can do the other ones. Pop it right in there. Use your mitten. Just like you would for a chicken cutlet that's right, or anything that's right. like that. Take your mitten, and then just dip it in the flour and the breadcrumbs. Look at that. Toss it, give a little press, and then look. Look how it stays on it. That cheese and stuff that's looks so delicious. Awesome. All right, give so it a try? The, the hard thing is the fryer, I right. think. So you have oil already. And th this is only on a level five. Yeah, so I got it on five. I don't want it to be crazy, raging hot. And one of the cool tricks you can do, two cool tricks I'll show you to make sure it's hot, is number one, first thing you can do is take a little pinch of your breadcrumbs and put it in there. If you see the sizzle like that, you know it's ready. Okay, they don't have to turn brown right Thank away? Thank you. You're going to finish this one too? No, not at all. Just a little sizzle is how you Just know it's right. Just a little sizzle, that's it. And then if it's too hot, the best way to fix it if it's too hot just yeah. add a little bit more oil to it. Okay, not Don't water, crazy. obviously. Oh my God, no. Right. No, so no, no, that's terrible. Just be. Unless it's July 4th and you right, want right, fireworks, right, right, right. which is kind of nice. So just a little bit of room temperature oil a will bring oil. it down. Right, and then we're just going to put these guys right in there. If you use your hands, always lay it away from your body like this, away from the body so it doesn't burn you. Because if it does splatter, you don't want to splatter back. You yep. want to splatter that way. And just bring them up. Now, what they're going to do, this is eggplant. It cooks so fast. So oh, it you does just it? Want, you just want it to uh, sear off that outside, make a nice brown color, and get nice and crunchy. And that cheese in there makes it super crunchy, too. So once these are done, all I like to do is serve them with a little bit of sauce. So we'll give them a couple seconds here to get nice and charred up. 
And and again, it's veg. I apologize, vegetable. Yeah, yeah, oil. yeah. You were you were focused here. I, I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, I was I was busy working away. That's right. Yeah, it's just vegetable okay. oil. You can use canola oil. You could even use a little olive oil if you wanted to. But vegetable oil seems to work the best for me. Okay. Because you know, we know where it comes from. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, and this is great because you know fried foods are delicious. We all love a good fried food. You can also do them in your air fryer if you want. I was going to ask because I don't have one yet, but I'm thinking about buying. Absolutely my kids should. want it. I need it. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Should. Everyone's telling me they're I need so great. Fryer. They're okay. so great. You so if you were doing that anymore. in the air fryer, you would stop at that step and then. And put them in the air fryer. Right into your air fryer, right? Nice and hot, 400 degrees, let it ride. Perfect, perfect. So, like I said, these things, they're delicious, they're crunchy, they're fun to eat for the kids, you know, and it's almost kind of like diner food. That's kind of how I look at it. Yes, and, speaking and you have of a diners. thing about diners coming up. That's right. Well, this week on WNPR, on our show on Thursday, we are going to be live taking phone calls, talking all about diners in Connecticut. It's going to be so much fun. Okay. And let do me show you. Have some you. favorites? Oh, do I have diner favorites? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, there's so many choices when it yeah. comes to it, isn't there? Okay. I grew up down south, so we used to go to Waffle really House. Does that count yes. as a diner? Yes, well, mm -hmm. I mean, kind of. Right. But like Dottie's Diner in Woodbury, they have the amazing. Colony Diner, one what of my that? favorite spots is well, the Newtown. Great. Newtown, okay. F fantastic spot. I love excellent. diners because everybody gets what they want. Yeah, everybody does, and the menu's yeah. always this thick. Uh -huh. But there's it, diner culture here in our state. So what we do is we'll take our tongs, we'll just flip these guys over. They start to get brown, and you can make it simple on yourself. Use a little can, can or jar or sauce if you like. Yeah. You know, and put it here on the plate like this. And once these guys get nice and brown, put it down. The biggest thing I'll tell you is though, is when you pull something out, right, from frying it like this. Yep. Put it on a plate and let it start to just drip off the excess oil. You'll yep. save yourself a lot of, a lot of like, oil that way. Okay. Right, right, yeah. right. And then, so we just need to, in order to get them as brown as your example, we just need to leave them in there longer? And the oil could have been a little hotter, too. Okay. <laughs> but, you okay. know, right. listen, it's, it's, it's the Great Day Connecticut um, stove. It's always uh -huh. a little bit funny. Absolutely. But what we're you want to do is when you get these out, I'll show you, because I know we're running short on time. You want to put them on a, on a paper towel like this, uh -huh. and this is when you want to season them, because that's when the salt will stick the best. Oh, uh, okay. Always season them after you pull them out of the heat. My mittens are going crazy. Season them up after they come out of the heat. Because then it sticks. And then it'll stick. And this is a great snack. And you can try this with other vegetables too. Like I said, do it with squash. Do it with a zucchini. It works fantastic. But I find that eggplant is my favorite way to do it because it looks just like an onion ring. All right. It's thanks, delicious. Chef. Eggplant rings. Still ahead, a local coffee shop with some unique beverages. We're going to be taking you there. Yum. Yes, and in my Kara's Cure is harnessing your anger for something good. We're going to tell you how. Great day, Connecticut. We'll be right back.